Hi there, welcome to TV Cat Tech and uh, welcome to Recordcast, which is what I'm looking at today. Uh, the guys at Recordcast contacted me and just said, uh, we've developed this, we've put this online, it's a free service, will you show it to the people who watch your channel? And I was, I took a look at it and said, yeah, okay, fine. Um, I have no problem in doing that because it looks like a pretty good service. So all it is is a browser-based screen recorder. So if you need something like kind of Snagit or Camtasia or something similar to that, uh, then uh, you can do it through a browser using this. And uh, if you're concerned about data, all the data is stored locally. It's stored as WebM files, so WebM video files, which is a real common, really common kind of browser-based video file format, and um, or, or just the temporary internet files, really. So it's not anything that kind of goes outside your browser. A uh, big benefit of that is, of course, something you can potentially use something like this on a work computer to just do a quick video recording to demonstrate something or to show how, you know, to show how something works. And that's not always possible because it's not or it might not be in your kind of remit to have some video capture software and therefore you can't get it installed because it's admin rights and then you've got to go through, oh God, it's just a pain. So yes, using something like this could be handy for that, I guess. This is the about page here and they uh, asked the question, who are we? They are uh, a Hong Kong and China based company and they're Pearl Mountain and they did uh, this software as well. It's not really software, I'm gonna call it software because it's browser based and it just doesn't feel like software to me. It's just a website that does stuff. And yeah, they did design cap. I looked at this a uh, year, year and a half ago now, but they, they have a little bit about why they developed Recordcast there. So let's take a look at it anyway. And you can see for yourself whether it is something that you'd like to use. It's totally free to use, as I may have mentioned. I did ask them if they were going to sort of introduce sort of tiered pricing or anything like that in the future. And this, if it was only free for the beta, they said, no, not at the moment, but maybe in the future. Who knows? It's a nice little sort of additional thing to have. I don't think it, it's, it's just, it's, you know, it's just a website really, isn't it? I don't think it takes up any resource on their side because it's all the, all the works being done and all the files are being saved on your computer. So no big issue. Right, what can you do? Well, you can obviously create a recording. So let's do that now. Uh, you can also just create a video. So it has in in, in it, it has a built-in sort of HTML-based NLE, a, a non-linear editor. So a video editing software, essentially, only really basic, but you know, you can do just sort of cut clips and drag and rearrange them and things like that. So yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, and you can do that with clips that already exist on your on your computer, which I'll do in a second. But let's have a look at the record section first. So you have a choice to either record from screen and webcam, screen only or webcam only. And I'm just going to do screen only for this example, uh, just to save hassle because I'm using my camera here and I do have a separate webcam. I, I could try the webcam, but I'll just do screen only for now. And then my next step is where where I want to take my audio from. And I'm just going to start recording at this point because it then gives me the option, well, do I want to do my main screen, which is a 5K monitor? So no, I'm not going to do that screen. I'm going to do my second screen here, which is just a second 1080p monitor. So that's a sort of nice size for uh, sharing. And then you can do an entire screen, an application window. So this is kind of standard stuff that you get when if you're used to using Microsoft Teams or WebEx or um, Zoom or anything like that, and you're sharing content you have a choice of just sharing an application or, or you a tab in this case, you can share a Chrome tab as well or your entire screen, which isn't always a good idea because then you can see people's emails pop in to the bottom right hand side. If you've ever been on a work call, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna do the entire screen for this one. I'm gonna do screen two and do share. And I now have a recording in progress. My second screen is just down here actually. So I'm just gonna have a look at the BBC website here. We're at the, uh, on the verge of the Brexit deal going through hopefully, which is why the entire news is about Brexit at the moment. God, it's so dull. So let's just click on here and we can take a look. Let's just see how it does with the video. So I'm just gonna play video there from the, uh, from the comments. And, oh God, and yeah, so there we go. So I've shared my video, I've recorded my video, uh, go back to my desktop and now I've finished my recording. I get a preview of my video here, then I can just scroll, scrub through that and take a look at it. And I can download that straight as it is, or I can go into the edit feature now and export it then in an MP4 format. So I'm gonna edit and export in MP4 and I get my clip in what is a basic but functional timeline. And I can use my uh, playhead here and scrub across the video. 
which is great. And I can also import additional clips. So I'm going to go to my YouTube stuff and I'm going to go to my titles and bring in my end sequence, which some of you may have seen before, which is just this little drop that drops my uh, title onto here. So I've now got my video that's been recorded entirely in my browser and I've now got my website into there. But of course, this, these all these files are local, so there's no problem in accessing them or anything like that, as long as your browser can access your files. And you can add text to it and you can add a background to it. Real basic stuff, but it works. And if I want to cut this clip, so I, so, so I you know, got to here, I want to do a split there. I can, uh, sp oh no, I wasn't selected on that clip there, was I? Uh, let's have a look, what am I doing? Okay, go here and do a split. And, well, I've truly messed that up, haven't I? I've <laughs> completely reorganized that. Can I undo? Is there any way of undoing in here? Oh, there is. Wow. That's pretty impressive. You can actually undo. So yeah, make, let me make sure that clip's selected and split. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So now I have two clips and tells you the length of those clips, 18.8 seconds, 18.9 seconds. I want to put that on after. So it's, it's kind of automatically uh, pulling them together and things like that, which I'm not used to in an editor but again, does kind of make sense. And if I want to add some music, I can uh, go into here as well and um, put my music here at the bottom. So if I import just a bit of music in here, I'm just going to try and do a wav of some kind. Oh, Def Leppard. Oh, that's a flak. That's, no, that's not going to be any good, is it? No, these are all flaks. Um, okay, let's try an MP3. Surely an MP3 is going to work, right? MP3s work. Yeah, so there we go. We've got uh, MP3 in there and I can drop that in the bottom. And there I have an audio file as well. So yeah, I've got my entire video done, not a very good one. And I can either save it now as a project, but to save as a project, you have to then keep all the files in the same place, exactly as you would with a normal NLE. You've got to keep your files in, uh, you know, in their set location, otherwise they'll be missing next time you go for them. Uh, so I'm gonna export my video, I'm gonna try exporting it. I'm just gonna do a 720p for this one export it and I've absolutely no idea where it's going to put it. I did I did it give me any option to specify where it was going to put it? It's quite slow to export considering it's such a tiny video. I'm not quite sure why it's so slow to export. Uh, I, I would have thought the load would be on the CPU here or on the graphics card if I bring in my um, CPU. So we've got 15%, but I am doing some capture stuff as well. What about my GPU? 20%. It, it might be doing something on the GPU. I'm not too sure. But I, I'm not quite sure where that load's going, but it does seem to export fairly slowly. If that's, I'm only doing a 720p video there, and it's a really, really short clip. I'd expect that to be exported in 5 or 10 seconds, really, normally. Is it only using one core? Um, I honestly don't know. So it says it's been down exported successfully. Where can I download it from? Because I'm clicking on this and that's not working. Hmm. Okay. So no option. So this, this option to download is not working. Um, don't know why that is. So I can change the title up here of the project. And right now, uh, can I zoom in and out on it? Yeah, so I can zoom in and out, get more, more detail, uh, fit to screen, that's fine. And, and, once, and if I go back to my project now, I should see this exists as a project, which it does. Yeah, there we go. So this is, I think, is the only bit that's actually saved to the internet, actually uploaded somewhere to be saved. Because if I go into this one that I created previously and try and open that, I don't have the files for this anymore, and it just says relink missing files because none of them exist. So that's fair enough. Don't know on the don't know on the export there. Not quite sure why that didn't work. Anyway, there you go. That's a quick look at Recordcast, which is an online screen recorder. Give it a go. It's free. You don't have to. You know, there's no service to pay up for you pay for you do have to enter your email and you do have to enter a password that's it so uh, they haven't got you with much data there i don't think and um i have monitored you know i was really really 
sort of cautious about traffic and and data being kind of uploaded and downloaded when you when you're recording these type of things and recording your screen and but nothing transferred across you know when saving various bits and uploading and processing and all that I've did I have monitored all that uh, it is all seemingly done locally so um, yeah it's a nice little service if the export works hopefully it'll work better for you thanks for watching see you soon